Alright everyone, we have here a nice little 4v4 on Tur. It is actually going to be the last uh, battle that we have on Inoris' mod for the trio. Let's see what we're doing next. I think I hopefully we got some new world ones. Then we'll go from there. But uh, start this party off. We have Nova Carthago brought to us by Propane. He's brought three Numidian Noble Infantry. He's brought one Armor Numidian Rider, four Libyan Peltists, one Libyan Hoplite, two Libyan Infantry, two Mercenary Noble Fighters, two Skatari, and one no Nubian Light Infantry. Fun little faction, a mix of the Numidians, a bit more of a mix of the Numidians and Carthage, a uh, little less on the Mercenaries. Next, we have Mr. Joe Onnit here with the Yams Vikings. They're really some really cool units here, but he's got the Dravak General. Uh, he's got himself a one fixed ballista, four levy archers, six armored axemen, one Thor's hammer, three saw, uh, thrall swordsmen, and one Viking Osworn. Real fast, I just want to shop those Dravak. Look at these sexy mother. Look at those fancy boys. I believe. Can we see the Thor's hammer? That's the question. There they are. Look at those fancy boys as well. Carrying those... Can't really see them too much, but they're carrying those giant hammers. But, let's move on to the next army. A bit of magic's going to happen in this uh, fight. Is You're actually going to see them change color to the old color. Because this is definitely not done. <laughs> once before uh, the update and once after. Uh... But we have here the Huns brought to us by Armored. He's got three Hunnic Warlord Gen uh Hunnic Warlords, including his general. Where are they? There are those fancy boys. Boop, boop, and boop. Uh, on top of that, he has two Hun heavy archers, two Hunnic bowmen, four chosen UR warriors, one Hun spearman, and four UR warriors. Let's take a look at this. Hunnic Warlord. Look at that fancy boy. I know, he brought the Huns and he has no cavalry. It's wild. <laughs> uh, but finally, you can see this boy here. Finally, we have the last army brought to the, by, you by the best player of Total War of all time, me. Uh, I am playing as Athens. We have a sacred band of Thebes, special general unit that is 300 men. Very expensive, though. One fixed ballista. Four mercenary Sarmatian Lancers, you saw two of them over there earlier. Uh, on top of that, we got ourselves three Cretan archers, two mercenary Thracian swords uh, warriors, four militia hoplites, and four thorax swords. There's this fancy little sacred band of Thebes, 300 men themselves. But with that, we have the attackers out of the way. Defending wise, we have. Samnites brought to us by Nice Rice. Uh, Syracuse bar, are brought to us by Pump Ellie Fan 05. Carthage brought to us by Phylus. Course Mesesily brought to us by Smart Hawk. And we got a little bit of an interesting situation here, so let's just stay over here when we get this party started. So, uh, see you in a minute. Alrighty, getting. Our third battle of Myth and Empires mod started. Got a Numidian infantry versus three units of the Gatuli tribesmen. And another very strong unit is the Numidian light infantry. I mean, just. I mean, they're getting cut down just as fast. Because the Gatuli strong units, literally zero armor. They're at 102 kills. Final boy going in. This should be the end of the Numidian Light Infantry. But let us see here. About 121. Okay. Thracians coming on over to just defend, as well as a few of the Sarmatian, or as well as the Sarmatian Lancer. See what we see, see if we can stop them. Got a Numidian Spearman here, some Scutari. As well as over here, 
we have three more Numidian Light Infantry. Nothing too crazy. They're trying to destroy that wall right there. Uh, the Huns are moving in. The Huns and the Jiams Vikings right now have the same color flag, though this is changing soon. To a far better color, actually. It worked out really well. Looks nice. Armor Numidian Riders right there. And there were some more units outside of the Cthulhu tribes, and there's three more units of Numidian Light Infantry. So I am moving some more Thorax over, just to support that flank. Make sure everything's good to go. So luckily I don't have to push for a while, being on the back gate of Tur. Luckily these uh, Sarmatians don't get noticed, but if those Numidians try to get closer, can hit them hard and do some real damage. Nova Carthago, sitting there on the corner. Oof. 75 kills. And I definitely don't have four units of cavalry on attack, I promise. Some more, the archers are moving up to just eliminate that front because all those boys are weak to arrows and they'll do some good damage. So with them moving into position, we'll be good to start moving up, kind of pincer them and force them back. Because they can travel all the way back here, but this is a bottleneck right here. That rock stops a lot of movement. Light infantry moving back inside. They realize they need to. Huns basically reaching the gate now. Though the Yams Vikings and the Nova Carthago have not moved yet. Volley, let's see if he hits anything. We got a few boys. Doesn't look like the toughest, but hey, you got a few. Just that batch. Another set of shots. We did see a little Syracuse over here, so Syracuse looks like they are going to be the target. Thorax Hoplites versus uh, the Ewer Warriors. There's more Thorax Hoplites. A good number of them, actually. Threo Spears, some Thorax. Some Archers. With this, they are starting to push back. Still just sitting here very defensively, just waiting. So it looks like uh, Salmonites, that's what they are, yeah, Salmonites over here. More of the UR Warriors coming in, since that is neutralized now, Hunt Spearman can go in. It wasn't neutralized initially, but they did help neutralize it, which means more units can come through the gate if they want to. But as this unit of UR Warriors comes in, go support against these guys. Archer's in a nice position. Ooh. Hunnic Bowman firing in right into that flank. Ooh, poor Thorax. Nova Carthage moving up now, same with the Yams Vikings to go support this warrior. Funny enough, that did end up burning, that the gate ended up burning that down. And they did actually take control of the gate, though they just did lose it. Shot going in against that scorpion. Lucanian warriors got hit instead. With them gone, uh, the Sarmatian Lancers are going to just check to make sure they're not just hiding. And they are actually pulling back. So I only see two armies so far. I just see the Etrus uh, the Samnites and the uh, Syracuse. Have not seen much of Desert Rome or Carthage yet. One of them, we've seen a few of them over here. A lot of guerrilla units. Okay, here are the Desert Rome. A lot of Desert Rome moving over here. These are the three units that were outside. 
Living Hoplite's taking out that, securing. Just trying to clear out the middle, it looks like. Some random fire. Not getting much. But with that uh, basically secured in the middle, they can actually move through via gate, so the Chus and URs can come on in. Help in the gate fight. This is very dangerous on a front line, because it is just looks like the Samnites over here. The Syracuse are a bit better, they're on a 1v1 fight. They are losing some units, they did already break a few. Chosen UR is coming on in, getting right into those Thorax Swords into the back. This is very much a 2v1 right now, and that's not going to be good. So that's a Mercenary Skatari, let's see, some, those are just the Thrall Swords. These are Armored Axes, and those are some Noble Fighters. So they'll need more than just these three units of light infantry, which is where they are actually still pulling back, as you can see. As you see, that's what I mean by bottleneck. I could have bottlenecked them and shot them to uh, nothing, but that would have meant a pitch battle there, which I wasn't the most comfortable with. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to use this unit of Hoplite to block off that gate while I move this unit to take out that spot have the Samnites there as extra protection okay there we go desert legionnaires are moving on to the left hand flank they realized these Samnites are going to be in a very very bad position Samnites a lot of their units didn't end up doing very well which is a shame they might need a bit of a buff the other issue is they're just fighting a lot of units on their own they're fighting Libyan infantry Scutari and these Samonite Armored Spearmen are not going to be able to hold their own as much. He's managed to bay a bunch of the UR warriors like that. I think it's time to charge right into there. Oh, damn. Nice volley. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, because he went into square. That's actually a really smart thing. So he can guard that flank of the gate. What do we have here? Armored Axe is coming in. That being done, the three us are going to take a ton of damage. They are waiting for their moment here. Archers still firing. They're doing some great job against those archers, damn. Forcing these guys back in, and they're going to just position here in Hoplite Wall. And there comes the infantry that came from my side. They're coming on around to go try to help the Samnites out. These Italian swordsmen. Not even the good Italian swordsmen. These are the really cheap ones. This, this Thoreos is about to win. This is where I would move these Chosen URs in and try to just crumple any sort of resistance towards taking that gate. Those archers in the back. Poor Thorax. Those URs are winning. Those chosen URs are winning. And then those armored axes are going to get ready to get into those Thorax hoplite, I'm sure. Unless the Thorax... Yeah, there they go. Those URs are now sitting there, and they're still being shot in the back. Okay, so he's going to consolidate the front, which isn't the worst idea. I would have just charged them in, try to stop that Salmonite, and consolidate, but I'm more of a gambler. Uh, oh, I'm a hell of a gambler. So is Armored, though, so could have gone either way which way he was going to go. Those Numidian lights are... Why is it chugging? But that... That arrow tower is now burning, so they burn that arrow tower with those Etruscan archers, which is interesting. That scorpion is still fighting. This militia hoplite is still going. He managed to win. I'm trying to hold out. This was actually the second time we did it. I did the same thing to them, by the way, the first time, and they fell for it again, or they let me do it again. 
I had so many kills on the Militia Hoplite, it wasn't fair. It looks like a lot of Syracuse is going to move, oh, a decent amount of Syracuse is going to move over up this hill. Probably guard it a bit. Because he's losing a decent amount of men. I would honestly get that Samnite out and into a more defensible position. That's what, he's lost three Thorax, Hoplite, a Thraos Spear. Not going to get that Thorax Hop light out, sorry. And another Thorax. Yeah. But here, Nova Carthage is actually managing to sweep through here. So a very good point to hold is right here, because it does kind of contain them until this breaks. And though this hasn't broken yet, it is not functioning the best. They are getting some nice volleys. With this actually being taken, it opens a path for possible cavalry, as well as other infantry. So this is where I'm committing some summation lancers. Because summation lancers are very fast cavalry. We have some Scutari heading on out, which is interesting. Chasing out that unit. Let's see if they end up moving in. Over here, the Sumeration Lancers are moving in. With that, they're just going to go and flow. Just like that unit of Skatari, which is also protecting me. Helping secure the front a bit. Those Legionnaires are winning. Right quickly now. Then... Boop, boop. Let's get this. Oh, they get around. And right on in. So they got one of them. Already up to 50 something kills. They just hit the other one. 70 kills. And with that, that also helps break a lot of this front line. Because a lot of these units that were putting some pressure on it are now getting attacked in rear penalties as well. I think these guys die before they get to 100 because they're just being volleyed down. Which is also another thing in their favor. Because that's a lot of friendly fire that they were taking. And it gave time for the Libyans to break through over here. And are about to allow the armored axes to get behind them. We had a bit of a Gatuli tribesman. Uh, I don't know how. Oh, I'm sure there was some hiding over here, and they went out, and they they got slaughtered. I think he he mismicroed them. But those Italians are trying to get on in and do some damage. Libyan pelt is nice. With this, this front kind of collapsed on them thanks to the Sarmatians, as well as that infantry push well timed at the same time. Just shattered a lot of that front line and they couldn't get enough reinforcements in. So with this opening up, they're going to be forced to pull back to the next layer of defense, which would force the Samnites to pull back. So he's going to sacrifice those Italians. Funnily enough, this the Huns are now moving pretty heavily over here. Instead of helping in the center, they're going to put their pressure on the corner. This Qatari did end up pulling back in. Let's see what else we've got here. Who's over here? Oh, right. I had the Sumeration Lancer go all the way this way, just to make sure. But she did. Here comes the other Sarmatian Lancer coming on in. He's just going to be watching, making sure everything's okay, and wait for an opportunity to get back in. They actually managed to clear the center pretty well of those units. Those Peltis and those and the remaining armored axes are gonna, just going to crush what's left. They did a very great job of clearing out the center, breaking those three units. 
of the Huns. Trying to get there, but the Libyans got there in time. So it's just going to be a pullback at this point. Are those Yom's Vike, or those, yeah, those armored axes are being hit hard. This is the perfect opportunity for the Peltis to just volley on right in. Look at that. Okay, so they had zero kills. 13 kills immediately. Next volley, come on. Two volleys, nearly 30 kills. Got another volley. This one's probably not going to be as successful. Yeah. I figured. But here, the Hun Heavy Archers, which are out of ammo, there's 226 at shots. Done. So a lot of the precursors for the archers are really, or for the horses for the Huns are really interesting. They're, uh, bows. But those are out of the way, so now the artillery can fire whenever they need to. But it's time to push on the Athenian front now that they're settled in onto a lot of the attacking and uh, put pressure away from the other attackers. Now, I may have mentioned before that I like gambling. Ooh, that's a good amount of kills. I like gambling. Uh, this is most of my infantry force. I have one Thorax, two Thracians left after this. So, if this goes horribly, I'm pretty much out of this fight. <laughs> My hope is that this right flank of Thorax is going to secure over here, so I can go break this out and get the allies through the back and open up another front. Because what, I, what we don't want is holding here, here, and here, which is going to be very difficult for us. I'll say it probably what's going to lose us the game in the end. And of course, that means they're going to want to hold us. Those poor you are warriors. And those Sarmatians are still just waiting for an opportunity to shine. But with this push coming, looks like we are facing mostly Carthage. I see some Skutari here. Some archers, Cretan archers. These archers are getting into position, getting ready to just start ripping into on the weaker front flank. Thorax coming here. And Thorax, Thorax. What do we have over here? Looks like they're charging into the Chosen URs. These guys, which are weaker in number, are just going to try to get some kills. That Salmonite. Or that's our mation is still over there. And I forget about them for a very long time. What do we got here? Italians and Scutari. So the Italians are going to be a really easy target. Tilly coming on in. Initially trying to hit those Salmonites. Realize that's a bad problem soon. But we are taking this gate. These poor Thorax are just getting ripped apart on the walls. Ooh. But with this, this is becoming really good for us. This fight here, uh, though we are losing here. We're about to get a second unit in. Which is going to help us pretty well. The other Thorax is moving in onto that flank to go support that flank. And with that tower taken, those Skatur Star are going to drop. There's more Gallic Warriors, but nothing too strong. Those Italians are starting to lose now. With that taken, now these Sarmatians can come in over here. And try to force back. Because those are Numidian Spearmen. Get to the side. There we go. And how responsive the Carthaginians are. Yep, they're actually really responsive, and they do pull back really well. So, it's time to get the fuck out of there.
Yeah, so that ends up not being the most successful charge, but they do what they need to do, and they hold up the enemy, force the archers away, and now it's time with the remaining ones to get a rear charge, break through this front. With those going... Yep, break these Galax, and those Thorax will be free. Over here, Skatari are dropping, Italians are dropping. Now the Numidian Riders are getting ready for the same thing. I don't know what I do with the Sarmatians that are over there. I don't know if I send them back or if I send them to the... I send them over there. There we go. How's this fight going? Still a stalemate. A lot of, lot of range just sitting here. Doing some real damage. Basically keeping the infantry at bay. Numidian Noble Infantry is trying to break through that corner, but they're not going to be able to in the end. But they have a few more units of them. With that, the archers are now going to help fire at these Qatari. Hopefully do some elimination. Artillery fire, just doing as much as they can. Forcing units away. Armored Numidian Riders. Getting their way through. There you go. Now they're going to just be a jab down. But again. More volleys, more... Stopping the enemy. This is what's needed. Stopping that fire long enough. This side's now clear. That thor those thoraxes aren't the strongest right now. They're going to get in there to try to support. These thoraxes are going to go up and s support against these salmonites. The archer fire is still continuing. Those Galax are dropping. A lot of the enemy forces here are losing out. So they either have to commit more men to this front, weakening the fronts here. There's too many noble infantry fighting here. Noble fighters fighting here. Doing a pretty decent job of it, though they are finally losing. Libyan infantry losing here. Semites getting in, and two units of Thracians. So the first unit of Thracians is already here, and now they're going to turn around and get into these Samonites, the rear charge. But these guys are just going to get shot down. Get the rear charge and get a lot of damage in so these Thorax can have a chance. Well, these Thorax sack to spate, and to get these Thorax back, these Thracians are going to go up there. Uh, what else we got? This front is still just the stalemate archers coming from the uh, Yams Vikings. Looks like they ended up pushing away this, uh, what is it, Syracuse archers. But no one's really winning this fight. Everyone's dying there. This is still a holding pattern. So is this over here. They did end up burning down that tower. Which is unfortunate. That would have been very useful for us as the attackers. This poor militia hoplite. But those Thracians get on in and we're basically going to shatter those Salmonites. Because now we're going to surround them. Now infantry-wise, uh, we have one unit of infantry left, and it's what I've been saving. The Sacred Band of Thieves. Very expensive, very powerful unit. And we have one, one and a half healthy th thoraxes left. I think that's down to 80 men, yeah. Those Salmonites are going to be gone. Then we'll break through that corner. Now the question is, is are we going to break through it in time? Uh, Sacred Band of Thieves is going to 300 man unit, which is nice. That Thorax is going to commit. Same with that unit of Thieves, just so I can get those archers where they need to be. And with that, the Thracians and the Thorax one, the Thorax are coming back, the Thracians are gonna kill those Thoreos that are winning. But Carthage is getting up there. Mercenary Egyptian archers. 
are interesting, are always an interesting choice. I would prefer the Numidians, though I don't think uh, Egypt get or Carthage gets them. I don't know with the new mod. I would have to double check. Or Nubians, I mean, not Numidians. Uh, but since they're in, usually in Ethiopia, I don't imagine so. Those Thraos are going to lose now. Going to get cut down. Two Sithrations. In this fight, the Sacred Band is still pushing. Last unit Thorax coming over there to help support that flank. So the archers can continue to fire. But, let's see here. Oh, they were at 69 for a second. 70. The Egyptian archers have been pushed back again, so it looks like we still managed to keep supremacy of this corner. And we're having a pretty tough push breaking through now. Here is still a tough fight right stuck in the center, Silver Salmonites. We have Desert Legionnaires trying to fight off those Numidian Noble Infantry as well as those Noble Fighters. A Pelta sneaking around. Thor's Hammers coming in. Ooh, look at those big ass hammers. These poor boys, and they still have shots left. They're just going to rip right through them and keep going back. So those Libyan swords are going to have to back off uh, and allow my Sarmatians in. Or they're going to stay there and kill the, let the rest of their archers live, die. I don't know if these archers have ammo left. Yeah, they do. Those Thor's hammers getting right into the Silver Salmonites. They need to stop them. Archers v. Archers now. This flank the Libyans are winning. Sacred Band is doing a pretty decent job. They're going to just hold for ages. Hun units coming in, as well as the Yams Viking General, the Dravak. It's going to be brutal. And you know what? They do deserve to lose because they have a general's bodyguard. Yeah, so they let their uh, they let try to fight the Peltist with the Etruscan archers, which makes me a little sad. I was hoping to be able to use my Salmon or Sarmatians a bit more. This fight is pretty good. Pick top light. That silver infantry man is beating the Thor's hammers. But with this flank opening up properly, it's literally just archers fighting Libyans at this point. Hoping to kill the Libyans. They're at 126 kills, which makes me really happy. Those Thracians. Those Thracians are just being shot down. Those Cretans can't beat 10 Libyans, I'm so sad. But they're winning, 264, they're just tired. The Dravok are coming around, and the Dravok are going to do some nasty damage. Force these guys stuck in combat, that's perfect. Sacred Band breaking around. What about on this side? Viking Osworn. Starting to break through. The Chosen URs are losing, but Armored Axes are there. Sadly, still can't do much. Sarmatians here are just getting ready to go. They're going to try to do a bit of damage. It's not going to let me, which makes me sad, so I'm going to try to go the other way in a second. But over here, the Sacred Band is able to just surround this unit of Salmonites. The Dravok are at 121 kills. So they are exhausted now, but they have second wind they can pop. Once that other ability... Yep, there it goes. I believe that other ability is that raised banner I have on. Yep, here I go. Coming around to help break these uh, silver infantry. Help out the armored axis. Got 
Not the most amount of kills, but knocking them out of balance, so the uh, Armored Axis can get a few more kills. Try to help them out. Nice job with the Libyan Peltus right here. Viking O Sworn moving up. But over here, it is breaking. Hun Heavy Archers getting in. The Dravok getting more kills there at 174 out of 5. Sacred Band of Thieves, 187. They still, they've only lost, looks like, 40 men. So only 260 left. That Dravok is still winning. But with that done, it is going to be the beginning of the... Basically the final moments of the defenders. Because now they have to deal with... They don't have the infantry to defend both fronts. Which means this is pretty much going to end. Desert Rome has to run back. So the Etruscans got to hold out here. A unit popped out into the darkness here, so I'm just protecting our flank, a unit of cavalry. Hunnic Warlord right there doing some good work. Some more armored axes. Yeah, so he came back, the Numidian Noble Cavalry. So I'm coming back around trying to get ready to help stop that Noble Cav. Sacred Band doing their damage. 300. Where's the Dravok? Dravok here at 310. Only lost 9 men. Just shattering through the enemy. Yep. The Midi Noble Cav gets behind the that. I'm trying to get back into position to help out. One Samaritan's going to go that way. The other's going to come this way. Just try to surround the remaining infantry and cavalry. Travok moving back around. As now the last grasps of Desert Rome come in. Trying to support here, but over here it's pretty much broken and the infantry is going to be able to sweep and continue to surround. Travok here. They're up to 346. They got another fucking uh, trample on. Living Peltus getting ready to hold these guys in position. Firing javelins. Really nice. But there's no back, way back for those Libyan infantry, which is what they needed. For a final stand here. 57 here. Nearly, that's about to be 400 kills. 400 kills. Sarmatians get right into the backs. Not going to get a crazy amount of kills, but they're going to stall. Going to try to stop the Numidian Noble Cav. But he's going to flow backwards, so I'm just going to charge into here. Basically isolating this so Samonite Silver Infantry, which is really nice. And over here, we're still holding. And isolating this unit of Silver Infantry, though they have a 153 kill, so that's nice. But yeah, bam, and bam. I think they activated that uh, killing spree way too late. Yeah. Too many of them were on the ground to take the debuff to the... Or not to be able to take the full effect of that. Sacred Band at 351. What's this Dravok at? 495. Almost Silver Chevron, which is insane for such an expensive unit. He's at 506 kills. This front is now completely collapsed. It is over. They're basically now caught out of their own capital. Numidian Noble Cav trying to do what they can, but they've been stopped by what remains of the infantry. Not for much, but any any casualties, any hits are going to do what they can. Especially just enough to get my Sarmatians in. Waiting for them to flow again, and then going to get ready to charge. Yep. To get the better charge. They're going to win this fight, but we're just trying to stall them. Hold them in place. 
shoot them, hit them with whatever we can. We've taken the inner keep. Everything's pretty much breaking. 540 here, 120. 409 for a sacred band. Now he is down to, he has lost 100 men and four men, but hey. The new mini noble cavalry. Still pulling a hell of a fight, to be honest. But this is just about to be death. And this is going to end it right now, so let's get a nice view of all the archers streaming in and breaking him. But yeah. Withdraw! Wild stuff. <laughs> but that, that is victory achieved for the attackers. Three thousand men for a defending army. That's insane. It's a hell of an army. All righty. So we're going to start with Mr. Joe on it with five hundred and forty-seven on that Dravok, and look how healthy that thing is still. That thing could have st got so many more kills. One hundred four on the Levy Archers, one seventy-one, one eighteen, and one forty-seven. Great, jo great job on all of them. Armored Axis, two thirty-one, one seventy-five. Some of these Thraw Swords, 131, 181, nice job. And the Viking Oath Sworn, 238. Me as Athens, that Sacred Band of Thebes, got me 409 kills. 131 on that Greek Giant Ballista. Formations did their job and not really well, kill-wise. 114, 127, and 154 on those Credence. That Thracian has 127. Uh, and then the Thorax Swords, 228, 166, and 339 kills. Just ending up carving through that back flank, putting a bunch of pressure on the defenders, which is what the gamble had to be, attacking that back gate. Then we have Armored here, playing the Huns. Uh, both of his Hunnic Warlords still super healthy. That's crazy. Hun Archer, Heavy Archers, 218 and 234. And then the Hunnic Bowmen, 227 and 246. When it comes to the chosen URs, 158, 120, and 177, 154, and 201. Now, when it comes to that Hunnic Warlord, 369, those URs are 102. That's about it. Propane bring up the last faction, uh, Nova Carthago. Three Numidian Noble Infantry, both 135, 106, and 177. Nice job there. We got some Libyan Peltis, 226, 108. Then the Libyan Infantry, 190, 142. Mercenary Nobles, 125, 184. Then those Scutari, two, actually Scutari, 277, 117. And that Numidian Light that got slaughtered at the beginning, getting 121 kills. Now bringing up the Defenders, we have Smart Hawk with Miss Cecily. Uh, 222 with the Nomadian Noble Cavalry. Look at this is why I love so these skirmishers. This one just was unfortunate, but 314 and 124. Like for javelin, you know, that's amazing. 106, 121 for Desert Legionnaires. 112 for that Gutuli. 142 for that Numidian Light Infantry. Same with that 152. Uh Carthage, Phileas. Uh 140 on that Cretan. Interesting bring to Egyptians. Uh, 157, 198 for those Libyans. Italians, 112 and 102. That's impressive. Samnites, 228, 102. And the Skatari, 208 and 120. Uh, Pummel fans. He had a tougher time. A lot of hoplites, so you're not going to see it uh, in kills, but he held pretty well. I think he just got isolated, which was his problem. Uh, in that fight, but his pick top lights 139, archers 112, Samnites 131, 150, Thorax, Hoplites 108, 147, then you got 104 on that Thorax, so close on that Thoreos, and Nice Rice bringing the Samnites, so their Samnites got 209, 189, 259, 183, and 229 on those Samnite Silver Infantry. 
Archer-wise, Etruscan Archers 103 and 205. Lu uh, Lucanian Warriors 110. Those spears, actually, what if they've got 65? I think that's a pretty good job. Italian with 67, that's impressive. That is going to round up uh, our third of the Myth and Empires battle replays. Uh, hopefully we get some more of them. It is fun to bring some extra factions to Rome too, especially because I think they're pretty well balanced. But I shall be signing off now. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.